Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars action figure review. Today we're taking a look at the Hoth Rebel Soldier from the Black Series 6 inch line. This figure does come to us as part of the 40th anniversary celebrations for the Empire Strikes Back and I've got to say in terms of overall execution and value for money this is perhaps one of Hasbro's best Black Series 6 inch figures at least in terms of army builders. What Hasbro have achieved with this figure is absolutely fantastic and I really, really hope that this sets the standard for army building figures going forward. Um, for many years now, uh, we've been saying that Rebel Soldiers, all that sort of stuff, should be personalised. They should come with interchangeable accessories so that you can create varied displays on your shelf with these troops. And Hasbro have listened and they've done just that with this figure. They've included so many accessories and so many different display options and they've really got to be commended on that. This is a, an absolutely fantastic figure. So before we jump into the review itself, I would like to thank once again Hasbro for providing one of these figures for a review. Um, one of these was included in their 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back press box that I received a couple of months ago. And you can check out that video on the channel if you haven't done so already. Um, the second figure that I picked up was from staractionfigures.co.uk. It was an early birthday present from my wife uh, last month. And uh, there is a link down below in the video description where you can purchase this figure for yourself. Um, at the time of filming this review, the 40th anniversary version of the Hoth Rebel Soldier is unfortunately sold out. Um, but again, that link is down there just in case restocks do occur later on down the line. But if you have missed out on this figure, fear not, because he will be re-released later on in the year as part of the basic Black Series 6-inch line, and he will come in the brand new packaging that we'll be seeing for Phase 4 of the Black Series, um, as I said, later on in 2020. So I'll include links for both of those figures down below. But again, this is a highly recommended figure, and I really, really can't stress to you enough how much you should add this guy to your collection. So, before we jump into the review of the figure itself, as always, let's take a look at the packaging he comes in. And once again, this guy does come in 40th anniversary style packaging. So you've got that really nice retro vintage card going on. Got a really nice image of the Hoth Trooper on the card back, the Kenner logo down at the bottom, and of course the Empire Strikes Back logo at the top, accompanied by the foil sticker in the corner for the 40th anniversary. On the back of the box, you'll see some of the other figures available in this line. Uh, this particular figure comes to us from Wave 2, and the rest of the figures from the Wave are featured across the top. Luke Skywalker, in addition to the Hoth Rebel Soldier, is the only brand new figure um, that is a part of this line. The rest of them are repacks and repaints that obviously utilise the photoreal face printing technology. Um, but we'll be taking a look at some of these figures um, later on down the line, Luke and R2 in particular. So there is the packaging that this figure comes in, really, really nicely done. But enough about the box, let's take a look at the figure itself. And here he is. Once again, an absolutely phenomenal addition to the Black Series 6 inch line. As I mentioned earlier in the review, this is everything that an army builder should be. Um, not only do the interchangeable parts really set this one off, um, but just the overall execution of the figure in terms of sculpt, paint applications, and overall detail, is really really good and again this just makes for one of Hasbro's best black series figures so far it's not without its flaws and we'll get to those in just a little bit um, but before we go any further let's just touch base on the articulation that this guy features so right off the bat he does feature a ball joint and a hinge at the neck and you've got a really nice fluid range of movement there the face mask can be removed and it doesn't hinder any of the articulation which is really good we also have hinges and a butterfly joint at the shoulder and this overcoat or jacket is a separately sculpted piece which again doesn't hinder any articulation whatsoever which is really really good. We also have hinges at the elbows and at the wrists, a ball joint at the torso, hinges at the hips once again the articulation isn't hindered as there is a cut in the lower portion of the jacket. There's a swivel cut joint at the top of the thigh double joints in the knees and a hinge and a rocker as always at the ankle. So great articulation on this figure. You can get him in some really cool poses. You know, you can get him down on his knees in the Hoth trenches. You can have him standing at attention during a rebel briefing or you can have him blaster wheeled in and ready to face down the Imperial forces. Um, so yeah, really, really great articulation on this guy. 
detail wise again this one is absolutely stunning you've got a, a pretty basic color palette but the sculpted uh, sculpted details on this figure are really nicely done as you can see you've got nice details on the belt on the jacket itself you'll see all these technical details which look really really good you've got a rank badge and a pocket on the shoulder a holster on the side for the rebel blaster that's included and of course all the appropriate sculpted details on the legs such as padding and all the details on the boots there if we come around the back of the figure got some really nice detail in the backpack as well really nicely sculpted really well painted detail there on the wrist as well just really really nicely done and the faces are really well done as well now in terms of accessories uh, this figure does come as I mentioned with an absolute abundance first and foremost he does feature the uh, standard heavy assault rifle that we see most of the Hoth rebel soldiers carry in the movie and um, unfortunately this is just cast in grey plastic it isn't painted so even though it's nicely sculpted, a lot of those details don't really stand out. And it's also missing the strap that attaches to the back of the blaster to the front, and which would obviously then allow you to throw this one um, over the trooper's sh uh, shoulder. Which is a, sh a shame, but not a major issue for me personally. I really like how this figure displays with the rifle in hand. It does look very, very cool. And as you can see from the second figure, he also does come with a standard rebel blast pistol which again nicely sculpted but doesn't feature any painted details which is a bit of a shame but uh, it is what it is very cool accessory nonetheless and as you can see that blaster can be stored in the holster on the belt when not in use in terms of other accessories he comes with removable, removable goggles and um, which are attached to the head via an elastic strap. This is one of the flaws of the figure as the strap isn't the best quality. It is prone to fraying. Um, it's black for a start when it should be white um, in accordance with the outfits from the movie. And it just looks a little bit poverty when it's attached to the figure. As you can see, it's a really spindly, thin, easily twisted piece of elastic. It just doesn't look that great. So maybe that's something that I'll modify later on down the line. As I mentioned, he does come with a face mask as well, which you can remove and display either up over the face or around the neck. And he also features a removable backpack. Now, the backpack does indeed hide away one of the additional accessories for this figure. And this is something that I really think Hasbro should have um, applied to the front of the box. They should have had a call out for this. Um, because if you don't follow review websites, if you just buy these figures and you just throw them straight onto a shelf, you're probably going to miss this feature um, if you've not read about it already. And that's the fact that when you remove the backpack, which just plugs into the back of the figure via a peg, then there is actually a removable panel on the backpack itself, which does conceal an interchangeable face. Now you'll have probably already seen that the two figures I have here do feature different faces. One is bearded, one is clean shaven, although you wouldn't notice because of the mask. But those interchangeable faces are hidden away inside the backpack and this is a genius idea. This is something that is really really good on Hasbro's part. They didn't just throw a face into the package and you know expect you to store it away um, once you've opened it up. This is a really cool storage solution. It ensures that you don't lose these interchangeable faces and uh, this is just something that I really really hope we see carried forward with future army builders I think this could really benefit the Endor Rebel Trooper when that figure eventually gets released hopefully as part of the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi um, but as I mentioned um, those additional accessories such as the interchangeable faces the interchangeable weapons all that sort of stuff really go a long way um, to contribute to this figure and again this it makes it one of Hasbro's best army builders if not best black series six inch figures so far so again can't stress to you enough how much you should add this figure to your collection if you just want the one that's fine but I would definitely recommend picking up two so that you can display them in uh, in different ways as uh, again they make great displays on shelf so that is going to do it for this review on the Hoth Rebel Soldier. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll be back with some more reviews very soon. As I mentioned, we're going to take a look at some more of the 40th Anniversary Black Series 6-inch figures soon. I've got some gaming greats to give you a look at as well, plus much more. 
So make sure you stay tuned. And until next time, as always, thank you for watching. Keep collecting and may the force be with you.